We're checking out two 23 Ford Expeditions for Franklin Township Fire District number two, purchased through the HGAC buy program. The vehicles were painted to match their existing Chiefs vehicles. They're gonna be handling the lettering on themselves. Uh, two different vehicles, one is a slick top, one has a roof mounted bar. So there's some options for different things that you can see. Up top, dual color Enforce, four M powers in the grill, M powers in the fog light areas, and we have M powers up on the fender. Coming down the side, M powers on the mirror, M powers on the running boards, M powers on the rear side windows, and an M power on the rear lower bumper. Taking a look at the back, eight mod spoiler. M powers on the rear license plate, four M powers on the rear lower. Custom design cabinet. We've got a netting over the gear area, compartment with a uh, locking door to keep the stuff inside of it. Adjustable shelf with another set of netting. And then we have our ratcheting magnetic command board. Taking a look at the back, we've got a Xantrex inverter charger that's tied into the Kuzma auto eject. We've got two mounts for extinguishers, got another mount for uh, another hand tool, flashlight, and then we've got a USB 12 volt outlet box up top there. One thing that we did differently underneath our replacement floor, um, we have a secondary battery. Uh, with a cutoff switch, so that's isolated from the starting battery and all the equipment's wired to that, so when you shut the truck down, um, they're not putting a load on that starting battery, which helps prevent dead batteries. We have our Expedition console with our radio cutouts. Uh, we did provisions for their uh, satellite radio system. Uh, they have the inverter controls on this side, and then we have our RAID padded armrest, and then we did custom seat covers from Tiger Tough with a department patch in the back of it. Taking a look at the second vehicle, tri-color M-Power light bar up top. The M-Power bar is so thin that they didn't have an option for a traffic emitter, so we integrated one into the side, mounted a bracket off of the foot. We've got a Satina PB450, custom ordered with four cutouts to the front, M-Power on the side, FireTech brow light mounted to the front push bar got our speakers externally mounted. We have our fog light warning lights, eight mod spoiler bracket, M powers on the rear license plate. Hatch open, four inch M powers up top. Technique, four inch lights, red white combination. We've got our speaker mounted to the rear hatch that's gonna go where the radio is. We've got our Knox box recessed into the face plate. With 110 power, we've got our custom laser engraved switches with a 12 volt USB. Got our flashlight chargers and portable chargers up top. Command board, a little different. Matches existing design that they had. So it's a tripod type system that you can work off of both sides. Little neat, nifty, different design. Taking a look at the back, we've got a spot there for their air pack and their irons, and then we've got an adjustable shelf with their uh, inverter charger. So on all four doors, we integrated sound off hideaways to the door, so they're flashing amber, and then they have a white function when the door opens if the warning lights aren't on, and that's all done through the link module. Expedition console with our radio cutout, the blueprint controller, and then the Whalen Argus controller with our cup holders and our raised padded armrest and our inverter controllers mounted to the side. And then one other thing that we did is we upgraded the wheels on the vehicle to go from the stock steels to a nice aluminum alloy wheel with a nice set of tires on them. Thanks for checking out this week's build showcase. Thank you to the Franklin Township Fire District number two for allowing us to build these two new vehicles. As I said before, these vehicles were purchased through the HGAC buy program, which is a allows us to give you a turnkey package out the door ready to go. If you have any questions about these, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help you out with your next project.